2012 Mazda 3. It's got 21 millimeter lug nuts. There will be nothing to react the torque against your wheels when they're up in the air. So when you're firmly on the ground, you should loosen your lug nuts. One trick that I use once the nuts are loose is to take my lug wrench, plug it in, and just hand loosen. It's a lot faster if you don't have a drill. So before you raise your car, it's important to use some chocks just to make sure that the car doesn't slide around. So you could chalk up one of the wheels before you raise it on jacks. In each of the four corners of the car, there's a jacking point in the chassis mainframe, which is this raised trapezoidal shape here. Take the jack that comes with the car, the little cheap one. You should always use stands as well. Now I usually use the back corner right of this area so that in the forward corner over here you have room for your jack stand to fit in. Important to lower the car into jack stands for safety. Now the car is securely on the stand. I'll do this four more times and the car will be ready for rotation. OW-20, just about 20 bucks on sale. TG3614 filter. Now looking under your car, once it's completely secured on jack stands, you can see there's a little nut there. That's where we're gonna use our 17 millimeter socket to open, that's the crankcase bolt. We'll position our oil drain pan below it so we can catch all the oil. It comes off very loosely. Take this Tekton filter wrench and use it to remove the filter. Here's the new 3614 filter that we'll install. And it just screws right in with its uh, pre-installed rubber gasket. The filter is located underneath the splash guard. So above the splash guard you could look. And it is this piece right here. Last piece of the puzzle of course is to pour more oil in. Cap off. Clean funnel. Get put that guy in. We'll take the back wheels and crisscross them to the front and take the front wheels and put them straight back. 